Shalom. <coughs> Salakia. Shalom. First and foremost, all praises, honor, and glory due to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachar Kodash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the true name of his only begotten Son. <coughs> <coughs> Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone. Salutations to the whole full luck, pushing this word in truth and in sincerity. To the Israelite foreigners scattered throughout the four corners of the earth who may look like the heathen nations. And to the very few sisters that listen and learn, to you, Shalom. I'm the brother Yasharala with Great Millstone Chicago. And uh, just want to hop into a quick lesson going into the end of this present evil wicked world all right and it's gonna end by thermonuclear fire icbm missile fire <coughs> according to the scriptures all right because the scriptures say the triumphing of the wicked is short but for a moment so esau's kingdom is coming to an end esau edom being the self-proclaimed white race of people which, according to the Bible, they are really red. And um, you do have Israelites who look like Esau, who have that same pigmentation. And you have Edomites who look like Israelites. So this isn't really about a thing of color. You know, it's based off of who your father is. All right. But, um, you know, just to throw that out there, um, as the scriptures say, you know, that nation came out red. <sighs> Let me, uh, so we're going to start in, uh, second Ezra 16 and 13. It says for strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow, his arrows that he shooteth are sharp and shall not miss when they begin to be shot into the ends of the world. Now, Ezra is seen the nuclear missiles and he describes them the best way he can. All right, because in his time, you didn't have I, the term ICBM or nuclear missiles or uh, missile. Right. So when he's seen the vision of the missiles being shot, he's liking, you know, the um, the the silos with what holds the missile as a bow and the arrows is the the missile all right that's being shot and that's the best way he could describe it and these arrows are going to be shot from one end of the earth even to the other so that lets us know that this isn't a literal bow and arrow because that can only uh the the drawback on the weight is can only go so much and the distance from the uh I believe it's called pounds per square inch or um, um, feet per second, you know, um, depending on the drawback weight of the bow, the, the arrow can only go so far. So these arrows are missiles. Verse 14, behold, the plagues are sent and shall not return again until... They come upon the earth. <laughs> and this plague is talking about the missile fire. All right, let me grab that really quick in Zechariah 14 and 12. And this shall be the plague wherewith Yahweh the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. And that's going into the nations because the nations are going to be gathered. Uh, it says Zephaniah, the third chapter, his indignation is to gather the nations you know, that he may um, devour them with the fire of his with the uh, fire of his jealousy, roughly paraphrasing. All right. And not only these nations, two thirds of you uh, so-called Negro, Latinos and Native Americans, the and the Israelite foreigners who look like the other nations. All right. You fought against uh, Jerusalem, meaning um the Israelites, the true Israelites who know they're Israel and, you know, you fought against them. So you're counted in this as well. <coughs> you're going to be counted in this destruction as well. 
It says, their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet, and their eyes shall consume away in their holes, and their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. All right, that's, uh, we call this the Sarah Connor scripture. If you watch Terminator 2, uh, I believe it's called Judgment Day. It's the Sarah Connor uh, scene where the new kids and you see her melting away on the uh, on the gate. All right. Even in this, the book of Psalms, it talks about that. Um, uh, you shall melt away like a snail. All right. So this isn't going to be a fast judgment. You know, uh, our time perspectives. Yeah. The, the nuke blows up. Boom. One millisecond. <laughs> one second. You know, boom, you're dust. But. You know, hey, it's not going to be like that because it's going to uh, be on God's time. You know, he's the master of uh, time perception. It says you're going to be wailing of gnashing the teeth. So you're going to feel every bit of that fire. OK, it could feel like thousands of years being in that missile fire. All right, because you're going to melt away. And hey, that's hey, that's a fearful thing that should put the fear in you not to. um want to be on the bad side of Yahweh and his son Yahweh Shai. All right, back in Second Ezra 16 and 15, it says the fire is kindled and shall not be put out till it consume the foundation of the earth. And this place, America, a.k.a. Babylon, is going to be a, a, a memorial, all right, forever, which is a, a long period of time. Or you're going to see the smoke of the burning of this place. All right. And you, and the nations are going to look over here. We're going to look over here and be like, look, you see, that's what happens when you do wickedness. All right. That fire ain't going to be put out for a very long time. And the whole, the whole of America is going to be wiped off the map. <laughs> Verse 16, like as an arrow, which is shot of a mighty archer, returneth not backwards, even so the plagues that shall be sent upon earth shall not return again. So just like when you have somebody uh, like a mighty archer to sh uh, um, draw back the bow and shoot it, that bow and that bow that got shot or the, the arrow that got shot from the bow doesn't boomerang back. You know, it, it hits its target. It's going to be the same things with these missiles. It's not going to be shot out of its, uh, you know, the bunker or the silo, whatever, you know. And then, oh, you know what? Let me come back and return. No. All right. So once it's shot, it's going to it's going to hit its mark. And this is this is what Ezra, after he seen this, this is what he said. Woe is me. Woe is me. Who shall deliver me in those days? So he's like, damn, like I'm going to be destroyed. You know, who's going to deliver me in that day? Which goes into reincarnation. All right. Understanding that, hey, we're going to be the prophets are going to come back. He understood that he was going to be here and see and see that. Let me see. Uh, Second Peter is three and ten. Second Peter three and ten. It says, "But the day of Yahweh will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with the great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also, and <coughs> and the works that are therein shall be burned up." So this is gonna happen when people least expect it. All right. But for the ones who are in the know, we're going to be looking for the prophecies and hastening to the coming of the day of Yahweh Shai. So we're going to have clues and signs um, of the days drawing near because nobody knows that hour. You know, nobody knows that day. But we do know once these prophecies start happening, hey, that that time is coming real soon which we see this happening in the near future. All right. So this 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 uh this second death which is by fire 
<clears throat> it's gonna make the elements melt so here it is you're gonna have glass turn back into sand you're gonna have people turn back into the dust <laughs> all right the elements are gonna return back to as they were and that takes uh, a certain temperature that's so hot that it'll, it'll do that and that's gonna be the icbm intercontinental ballistic missiles that are going to be shot from one end of the earth to the other. Verse 11, seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? So look, knowing that the Lord is going to judge this place by fire, you know, hey, Noah prophesied over a hundred years is going to rain, you know, hey, the people's uh, conversation was uh, continually to do wicked. So guess what? They got that judgment. So knowing that and knowing that this place is going to be uh, hit with that fire, what what kind of conduct, our behaviors, you know, our conversation, which is our, our behavior, how we conduct ourselves, how should we be living? We should be serving how about should be outside to the best of our ability to get in his good graces before this great judgment happens i quoted this i might as well read it. it says looking for and hastening unto the coming of the day of god right and we're looking forward to this because you know it's even though it's gonna uh it says the righteous shall be scarcely saved it's gonna be a scary day you know but we look forward to this, to this because it's the end of the wicked's rule and it's going to be the um the new heavens and the new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness all right it's going to be refreshed it's not going to be a new planet you know it's just going to be refreshed all right the missiles is, a, is going to be a cleaning agent it's going to clean this earth up because the wicked that are in ruled have defiled it all right so this place is going to get cleaned up all right so we look forward to these days so so we could be in the kingdom ruling all right serving our god yahweh and and his son yahweh shai perfectly all right and and the wicked being put out it says wherein the heavens being on fire shall dissolve and the elements shall melt with fervent heat Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for a new heavens and a new earth wherein dwell of righteousness. Are we going to have a new new rulership? All right. And the earth is going to be ruled in righteousness. <coughs> Forgive me. This is second Ezra six and eight. And he said unto me from Abraham unto Isaac, and when Jacob and Esau were born to him, Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau. You can read that in Genesis, the 25th chapter, if I'm not mistaken. And that represent us taking Esau down, not physically, but ultimately spiritually through this word as second Thessalonians, the second chapter. All right. Um, by the spirit of his mouth, you know, we're going to take down this uh, this devil by prophesying this word, by taking down his strongholds. All his lies. It says, for Esau is the end of the world. And Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. So this isn't the end of the entire world where the planet blows up and nobody lives. No, this is the end of his his world, meaning his time, his age to of, of rulership. Because Job 9 and 24 says the earth was given to the hands of the wicked. So Esau was given this uh, the earth to rule. But his time is going to end real soon. All right. His rulership is going to end and they're going to get put into slavery. All right. And have to serve out their captivity until the Lord uh, deletes them. <laughs> All right. He's going to hit that alt control delete. And then the kingdom of heaven, the, the rulership of the Israelites under Yahweh, under Yahweh Shai, under King David is going to begin. <clears throat> Yahweh Ratazadis was edifying to the next time. Shalom.